Hello and welcome back to another great episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Swan Song campaign, a campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with literally everything cranked up to the maximum. Time to farm some uh, nice uh, reputation with the pirates. We're already at 20 reputation and we want to get even more reputation. At the same time, in the next episode, we're hopefully going to increase the reputation of uh, the um, Capellian Confederation as well. But for now, let's focus on the pirates. Uh, we could in maximum get like what? 10 reputation uh, or six reputation and a million bucks. I guess we're going for the million, uh, the million bucks. For the others, it's not that clear. Half a million. Now yeah, we're going to see. This one should be a quick mission. We are deploying, not these foolishly light mechs. I wanted to play with the heavier mechs, and the heavier mechs should come. So Thunderbolt here. Uh, we got our missile boat right over here. We wanted to use the Cataphrag and see how well it performs. And theoretically, we also have the Black Knight that I would like to test. So Hawkbite is going to ride on the Black Knight. And we're going to go with the Orion. I think that that will be fine. The Orion has the comm system, which is exactly what we uh, would need for now. Let's just see how all four of those very different mechs uh, perform, and then we'll, we'll make out our mind. Got a Lunar a Biome, Attack and Event uh, mission. Uh, that means it's inherently a long mission unless we're destroying their base first. Uh, the Lunar Biome is not very good for heat efficiency, so potentially our laser boat will suffer a bit. Time to begin the mission. We did not have a Lunar uh, biome so far, so it's the first time. And Luna biomes can be tricky because they are really nasty when it comes to heat management. On top of that, we got an extra force of uh, helpers, trebuchet, uh, javelin, another javelin, and a locust. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. So in which case, let's sprint forward. Affirmative, Commander. I copy. And see if we can Position maybe trick confirmed. the enemies. Our higher damage should be enough to engage with them. And maybe Moving kill them position. right off the bat. Uh, Phoenix Hawk, Dragon... Well, all of those are medium max, so... Potentially not going to immediately kill them. Speed there in the See, the idea was uh, that we are essentially overwhelming them, which is not going to happen. Those few LRMs from the Locusts are nice, but yeah, not really. Yeah, don't waste your LRMs on five evasion blips. Okay, the enemy attacks with locusts. At least our defenders do uh, do have LRMs, so that means they can help us to a degree. It's going to be interesting to see what the enemy is doing now. I feel this locus here has just absorbed the entire LRMs of the enemy. <laughs> Phoenix Hawk shoots. Cataphrag takes some damage. Cataphrag does not have the ECM field, by the way. So that is unfortunate. What are your orders, Skipper? So we got a couple of small lasers. What we could do is could move over here. I got you. Just 
get that vigilance going. And let's try to hit the Phoenix Hawk. Small lasers are hitting regardless. But overall you can see just how much how much um, heat problems the guy is going to have. All right, let's take the high ground up here. Multi-shot, everything on the Phoenix Hawk. And a tiny bit on that Locust. Battle forces pause next turn. At the same time, the Phoenix Hawk has lost his evasive status, which is good. Yes, Commander. Redford moves over with the Orion. Very good mech. Super reliable. Locking in all weapons. And a fantastic damage. result. Essentially knocks the guy completely down. Pilot is injured and potentially will die. Okay, Black Knight. We can get into his into his bag. We could also start trying to hit him. Or go for the locusts. I think we're going for the locusts that will already put us in the back. And this might even be a kill. Engaging physical attack. There we go. Fantastic. Enemy mech destroyed. Good. The Black Knight oh, has performed yeah. uh, well with his maneuverability so far. I still want to see how how good his heat management is. Phoenix Hawk takes some more damage, will eventually die. They can deal with the locusts, could be that difficult for them. Surely they will figure that out. More mechs seem to be coming down the line. That sort of was to be expected. I like what the AI is doing here. For once they are actually focusing their fire. And kicking the guy that has already been down. Ready to rock. Good, the cataphrac. Moves up. Very close. Let's steal this guy in initiative. And we gotta deal with absolute madness in terms of overheating. Affirmative. That was not a lot of damage, unfortunately. So the small laser still did a respectable job, but that was maybe 150 damage. I'm really not liking the cataphract build yet and we put a few resources into it so it's not like this has not been this has not been properly built up or anything the black knight moves let's take a look how well his heat management is super hot mech as well Unfortunately, four evasion blips. Waiting for orders. Not really that great. The amount of evasion blips is problematic. Naturally. We're melee attacking. It is now unstable and unsteady. What's up, Commander? Uh, 
And we potentially could use... Yeah, let's take the high ground here. Thunderbolt. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> We're not going to uh, dish out a lot of damage. We need to pause and uh, give him time to recoup. Lunar environments are the bane of the ex uh, of uh, our existence if we're uh, running hot mix. left in that location. Mech warriors, show them what you got. There's little to no real option to to hide here, of course. It's lunar environment, not not a lot of vegetation. It's been built up here. And then on top of it, if you're running hot builds, like the ones that we're doing, all of uh, the pooling is reduced. They are really trying to go for the Ori uh, Orion here. Black Knight took a hit. Damage minimal. That's potentially a commando. That dragon will go down. It's just a matter of when, not if. Okay, fantastic. Locust takes some more damage. That was an AC twenty hit. Confirm. Good. We're attacking from the back. Moving to position. Gonna feel this. Some heavy damage. Fantastic. It is unsteady. Let's see what the dragon is going to do. Tenshi is going to retaliate. Well, that was a ra rather uneventful retaliation, may I say. Cadifrac moves up. We gotta save Roger some that, heat. Here we go. Good. That small guy is going down. Aye, aye. Orion, my way. still, in my perspective, the best performing mech. Of course, running hot, just like everyone else here. But he's really doing a nice, uh, nice job overall. Give him some extra resolve. Firing. Can't really reach the guy. Ignite moves over here. Still vigilance because we're the ones getting targeted. Yeah, and the biome is screwing us over. But still, that's 150 damage. Black Knight is performing okay. Not fantastic, but okay. And has a lot of armor, so... Actually okay with what I'm seeing. I'm not necessarily okay with our heat management overall. Scratch another target. 
All right, fantastic. We gotta destroy the enemy base. So how how are we going to go about that? For the right move. Hunchback misses his AC twenty. Does he really have an AC twenty? He dealt a hundred points of damage. Internal damage. Boy oh boy. Yet another hit. Okay. Right here. Hey, yep. All right, Cataprec moves over. Or we need to save heat, so we're going to sensor lock this time. Sensors locked on. That reduced the heat substantially. Good to go. Next up, taking that high ground position here. And let's just go with missiles only. Fortunately, we can't even afford anything but that one LRM 20. Ready for orders. Orion moves forward. And look at that. So little ex actual damage that we can uh, deal. But it's very similar for the enemies, right? They also can't really uh, deal with the biome. Once they have shot their shot, they are out. Mech warriors, show them what you got. Rockets and Ballistics are doing a fantastic job here. Once we can get closer to these guys, I'm pretty sure we'll our melee attacks will also just um, deal with them. I'm almost certain that the enemy does not know how to stay away from us so that we can actually rush up and get them down. And it's all relative, right? I mean, the pirates are using their entire LRM deposit just to get that guy down. And what did it get them so far? Nothing. I've not even noticed there is a lot of... Uh, that there are a lot of kings in his armor. The trebuchet was actually the only one that has so far done anything noticeable. Confirmed. All right, Cataphrag. He's relatively fast. I will give him that. Moves up and. Let's just deal with him. Does he really have an AC-20? He does really have an AC-20. Okay, we have overdone it just a tiny bit. On my way. Let us see. I think for now we're going to go with uh, and delete this Locked urban down. mech here. Lost all of his steady. Can't really hit someone.
in melee, so we're going as close as we can. And just use the ballistic weapons for now. Tango down. Good, moving over here. The heat management of Hoppite is of the Black uh, Knight is good. That overall makes sense, despite the biome. It's doing a really nice job. Urban Mech is now going down. That means he lost his in initiative. We can potentially move up. Wow, there's another Urbi. Okay. Those are long-range snipers, and they are moving up like it's nothing. Two more rounds until reinforcements will arrive. And I don't intend to fight too many reinforcements, so we're going to use two mechs. Uh, the Black Knight and one other mech. To rush to the base and destroy it. Still can't get too close, or close enough to Locking in to actually hit those guys in melee. Panther took a good hit into the center torso. wasn't bad a uh, good spray shot by telling me we oh, wow we can't still can't go into melee I'm rolling. okay fair enough let's try to get that urban mech some nasty on that some bitch hit its core quite well but did not manage to kill it coordinates received all right standard range small laser Panther is unsteady, hopefully falls down. The urban mech takes a bit of damage and we're at our absolute heat maximum. Hogbite moves up. Panther is still standing. Damn it! Well, more enemies are coming in next turn. Luckily, these guys will be cleaned up potentially this round. I, at least I would guess that, that, that's, that that's the case. Reporting. Serious armor loss. If they can get the urban mech down, that would be helpful. Nope, not quite, so he will get a shot off. Damage is minor, Commander. Yep. 
Good, move into here. And it's just melee attack. Perfect, that's a solid knockdown. Commander. We're doing the same over here. Finally, we are in melee range. Good. Waiting for orders. The Black Knight moves up because I already mentioned we're going to go and kill their base. Engaging target. Scratch another target. Enemy mech destroyed. Orders. And the Orion on the other hand. Vigilance and sprint up. Roger. It's interesting loadouts. They do have light mechs, but they also have heavy mechs. So we're kind of at that sweet spot where everything goes. Well, now it's your job, guys, to engage with the enemies. Griffin is a medium mech, Jaeger is a heavy mech, and the Locust definitely is a light mech. And those small mechs, although they are just using LRM5s, uh, they have started um, with some serious damage overall. Roger that. Standing by. It adds up. They had uptime every single round. And that one worked super well. Confirm. Alright, Cataphrag moves up Double time. to Let's destroy go. the base. Waiting for orders. Yes, Commander. The Black Knight moves up to destroy the base. Receiving you. Now, how do we deal with those guys? Is melee attack an option? Yes, melee attack very much is an option. 95 points of damage and we would save some heat so that we could go just next turn. I like it. Copy that. Score to critical hit. Yes, Commander. Good. Let's go for the Jaeger. Eager is unstable and lost his um, his defensive status. So now everybody can pile up on him. Good, the enemy is defending their base. I'm, I'm actually okay with that decision. Standing by. Just out of curiosity. We could technically destroy this guy. We could also move in the back here and potentially destroy him, which I think we're going to do. Ryan moves up, Vigilance, yes, and this is one of the times where you want to unload everything. Confirm. Yeah, 
This entire back is unprotected. Ours as well. Alright, Mox. Moves over here. Precision strike to reduce the initiative of the Jaeger mag. And the guy lost his evasion. Yep. Fantastic. Tigan moves up. Come on. You. Small military building. 100. That should be enough. Small military building, one, two, three, four, five. That should be enough. Target building destroyed. Good. Let's see what the uh, what our allies are doing. At the moment, not too much. Uh, mate. Well, that's where the enemies are at. No need to completely retreat. Commander. Moving out. Vigilance and this is potentially a kill. There we go. Target neutralized. Wow, they're actually running all the way back. Orders. Move on out. Now we don't want to overheat. Fire. Confirm. Order acknowledged. Good. Firing. Let's get that medium building down. Almost. Engaging target. Perfect. One more building left over and next round we should get that down so that the reinforcements that arrive in two rounds should not arrive and it's just that one jaeger mech trying his dearest to continue giving us a look into his rear Yeah, th there's the guy. You can attack him. Oh my gosh, how I love our allies. They started out well, but it got progressively worse. Medium lasers shall not fire. And that thing Ready unfortunately missed. Good, so this here should be enough to kill it. Perfect. Which leaves us with only one mech, really. Is fighting Move against order. us. Move order received. Precision strike. And. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we're even getting it down. Who knows? Waiting for orders. Acknowledge. One LBX shot. 
We might as well hit. <laughs> Good job, Redford. Not like in XCOM where your where your aim is a bit off. Very good. So let's continue. That's a lot of money. Just minor injuries. Fair enough. So we're jumping right next uh, into the next mission. I want to make sure that we get uh, as much gameplay in as possible. Mech repairs. No, we're not going to do that. Real quick. Just wanted to show you what we're dealing with. Next up. We're going to defend the base, so that is our job. They like us. They would like us even more. 13 instead of, like, what? 8. All right. We're maximizing the gain here. And let's jump right into the defend the base. One thing... I wasn't feeling the cataphract, really. That guy was not on par with the others. So let's just try to get the Thunderbolt here and see if uh, the Thunderbolt performs better. It might be that, that due to his heat uh, bank and the exchanger he will do better, but yeah, the Cataphract was just not on par. Okay, let's go. Good, time to deploy. Let's defend a base. Same biome i really don't like lunar biomes which is why you haven't seen uh, that many in this playthrough if you can avoid them just don't play on them so all we got to do is make sure that the buildings are surviving roger that commander easy enough right wrong there is always a problem potentially many enemies coming in However, we're kind of in the corner here, so up a blip. just got to hold those 10 rounds. A couple of medium-sized mechs. That's interesting. All right, moving in Orion first. Kitaro and an Enforcer. Okay, okay. Not going to waste a lot of firepower on these guys. I first of all need to clear all of the evasion blips, so this is just going to take one away. What are your orders, Skipper? In this particular case. Sensor lock is actually a good thing. Doesn't cost us any heat. I've got a sensor lock. Guy is sensor locked. Mox moves in. And let's do a multi shot. High ground to our advantage in this case. Our just lost all of uh, their. I originally wanted to do a multi-shot, but it was the right decision to unload completely on the, uh, onto this fool. Good, Black Knight is going to tank. Couldn't get in range, so uh, it was a mistake. I should have uh, moved the Orion last. Still okay, because uh, they will not really dish out a lot of damage, but we could have killed the Kitaro. Riffin over there is a problem. Waiting for orders. Good. Let's start orders. with Mox. On the move. Multi target. That Kitaro still gets his full package. And the medium laser is for the griffin. Let's just go for one medium laser. We take away his evasion blip. And that's about it. This guy lost evasive completely. 
Griffin also lost it. Okay, cool. good. Orion moves up. And now it's time to fully unload. Decision strike, center torso, everything. Let's go. Target's taking a critical hit. The guy is knocked down just by the impact, by the daka daka, as they say. There's no not you can never have enough daka daka. Those who play Warhammer will understand. So ballistic weapons in other words produce knockback. And that Kitaro is finally down. Okay, work uh, work like a charm. Black Knight moves over. Precision Strike to reduce his initiative next turn. And that was a nice little disco. Almost got his uh, core opened. We're still trying to get down the buildings. This enforcer did a really, really critical mistake. Waiting for orders. Which is, he showed his back and he kind of moved up. So let's attack him first. You wanna go? Let's go. Could have gone for the Griffin. Actually, uh, killed him first. Damage minimal. Overall, still fine. Let's hit him with all of our rockets. He's highly unsteady and potentially will die. Black Knight moves up. Oh, it's almost down. Critical damage detected. Skipper. Thunderbolt moves over. I just want to make sure we're focus firing. This guy has like 15 hit points, so that should be plenty. Okay. Tango is trash, Skipper. Oh, hell yeah. It's on now. Commander. Okay. So, Orion moves up. We're still vigilancing, but this time also fully firing into the back of the Enforcer. Reducing his initiative to next round. An entire additional lance comes up. Building takes a bit of damage. Confirmed. Moving up with the Thunderbolt. And we can no longer just attack. Our heat is too high. Alright, he retaliates nicely. Ready to rock. Moving up, because we need to defend the other flank and I also need to reduce heat. Same thing with the Black Knight. Next are moving up. And this here is moving right behind him. Same deal, vigilance. And potentially kill him. 
Who makes trying to get into each other's back? Phoenix Hawk did critical mistake. So we have good odds of hitting him, and we do have um, we do have quite a bit of heat left over. So let's use our precision strike and teach the Phoenix Hawk a lesson. All right, evasion is gone. Mox over here Speed there in the takes a couple of indirect shots. And finally, Hawkbird with the Black Knight. Good, Phoenix Hawk is almost down. Go time. The other stone seem to seem to be too sturdy. There is a Raven. We certainly can deal with it. That commando is just asking for trouble if you if you want yeah, my command. honest opinion. Let's wait and see what the others are doing. All right, so the Black Knight moves in. Has these guys nicely in line of sight. A couple of medium lasers are gone. But yeah, now the Phoenix Hawk does not look that good anymore. So this commander here, completely not understanding why he would go in like that. Ready for orders. Heading out. Just became unstable. All right, not the best damage, but at least some damage. And apparently enough to actually Enemy get down. this guy down. Yeah. Moving up here. Piece of cake. And let's just cool down for a bit. Oh hell yeah. It's on now. <laughs> that commando is something else. They'll eventually get that building if they will focus. Nope. Because focus fire is completely overrated, you know? Good. We're going to use melee attacks wherever possible, of course. Commander. Orion moves up. And... But that is a good chance to actually get him down. Reporting critical hit. Good. 
Good. The Raven will eventually go down next yes. turn. We got one more enemy, the Kitaro there, that actually can do something. The Raven itself is severely damaged. They got a lock on me. Stealing all our evasion blips, so yeah, that Kitaro, I was about to say, could be the winner here. But it instead decided to just go and uh, entrance, uh, entrench, which is really bad. Destroyed. Ready to rock. Waiting for orders. But we can attack from behind, and we're definitely going to do that. I'm on him. Standing by. Roger. Good. Let's reduce his initiative so that we can act Target before up. him. Receiving you. Let's continue to reduce his initiative and also his stability. Critical hit, Commander. It's go time! Warning. Enemy in rear arc. I wonder how he still got up the two initiative, potentially due to the um, pilot perk that lets him get one additional initiative. Engaging jump jets. So let me show you how you take someone in the back if you try to do it. This is how it's done. Enemy mech. Critical damage. Detected. What are your orders, Skipper? Locking in coordinates. Target lock on enemy six. Critical hit, Commander. Good. Kitaro is almost down. Confirmed. Again, we're reducing it to one. Firing. Well, never mind. I need a new target. Mission Fantastic. Okay, so we got 13 reputation with the pirates. Not a, lot of, uh, not a lot of money, but we're at least getting that like sweet, sweet reputation up. And sometimes, like in cases of this solar system, you actually need the reputation. I think in order to like keep the tension and the viewing pleasure, what I will do is we'll cut the session a bit um, shorter here I don't want to go another two episodes just by farming uh, those uh, those missions so I'll do that behind the scene and essentially get up the um, the reputation and hopefully also the experience we'll just go th uh, through that and uh, the next time we're uh, or the next episode is going to be the flashpoint the next flashpoint that's happening because in reality what will happen now is we're still having like this mission over here for another like what 10 and then we have those missions for even more reputation 15 and 13, that's 28. And 10, 38. That's not bad. 
they are currently at like what 138 we'll get them almost all the way to friendly just below friendly so that's not a bad idea so we could do that in terms of general reputation what that would uh, offer us is the local pirates are friendly almost um, almost kind of allies um, which would happen up, up uh, from this point onwards we would get the capellian confederation like nicely up to here ish so that we do have a starting point with at least the Capellian Confederation, uh, the Lyran Commonwealth, so both of uh, those and, and the pirates for more difficult missions. I'll do that in the background. And the Mech Warriors will also get some experience out of it. And then that will be that. Let's just double check. Anyone with extra XP? No, those those low missions are not yielding a lot of experience. Mech warrior training complete. Okay, that kind of brings us to the end of today's episode. Made a couple of decisions here for the cataphract as uh, well. That will need to go. Just doesn't work out. Um, we would need more advanced equipment to really make it work. And it's a fast mech, but the engine is too uh, large. We got to work on that Black Knight uh, with the heat efficiency. Generally, it's working well, but maybe, maybe I'm removing the jump jets for more heat efficiency. On the lunar domes, it just, it just didn't really work out that well. The Thunderbolt is an absolutely force to be reckoned with, seems to work fantastic, and the Orion at the moment um, is potentially our strongest mech the way that it's built up. Also not a surprise, right, because we have a lot of our lost tech in the communication system in here. That brings us to the end of today's episode, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. The next time that we're rejoining, it will uh, will be when we are at the flashpoint. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.